Tori Hart said this. Men need to start just being men and say, look, this is what I'm going to do. And I think most women will probably deal with it. But you men have got to be more for upfront. the side chick. And here's it was the thing salty. about me. And I it's still salty. Good side bitch. There's days I don't feel like doing <laughs> Let that side bitch do that job. There's days I don't feel like sucking. <laughs> There's days I don't feel like cooking and cleaning. And that's why Kevin Hart left your ass. Well, I could never do that. He left you for the side chick. You can't do it every now. You can't do it every now. You can't be in that nigga facility. Like, you can never live with him. He can never live with you. None of that. Unless you be in a polygamy relationship. If you don't feel like sucking dick or cleaning the house dirty. That's a worthless piece of pussy, actually. The fuck? What is wrong with you? Like, you make, like... You, you give the nigga nothing to want. Nothing to want to keep. Nothing to want to <laughs> nothing. That's why he left your ass. You a whole, you was a whole female man that he had side bitches. Mad side bitches, Miss Hart. You was mad, upset. So upset to the point you divorced the nigga mm -hmm. and try to play his wife to be now. His wife now. Who was the side bitch that did everything you right. did? And you was you was vexed, honey. Let's you was, pack it up, y'all. Let's pack it the fuck up. You was born vexed. You was vexed. Oh, you was so vexed that it outside. was on your forehead. And yet, now you talking about praise the side bitches. Like, shut up. Pack man. it up. Pack it the fuck up. Have, throw you away. Yes. Throw your whole ass away. Just, Just throw, throw you away. away. And give him back his name. Yes. Because you got sick of him. Out here looking, making his name look like a... He already looked funny as hell by himself. Hey, guys! So, I'm back. I'm en route to Twitter headquarters. Oh my god, that is like so exciting. Um, I have some work to do. Also, I'm gonna be vlogging, so you're gonna see like a little bit of my work, a little bit not of my work. My sister's in the car. Praise <laughs> And she's on her way to school. And I'm gonna drop her off to school before I get to Twitter headquarters. I'm gonna be a little late. As y'all know, when am I ever really on time for anything? I tried, y'all, but being a new mom, and, but he was really good this morning. Like, RJ was, like, up excited. He wasn't crying, being irritable. He was so, you know, just a little angel that he is. He's with my mom right now. If he, like, he always, he's always with me, but he's with my mom right now, so. Yeah, so we're en route there. Uh, so when we get there, you're just going to see how the day goes. And today's a blockity vlog day, guys. Blockity vlog day. Today's we day. 420 y'all. I don't smoke weed, form a weed heads, get high, smoke, multiply. Alright, I will see you when I get to the to headquarters. I am driving, so I don't need no distraction. So I just found parking. Anybody who lives in New York City knows there's never no parking. So that took me like freaking 20 minutes just to find some goddamn parking. But I think I found parking. Hopefully my car don't get towed and I don't have a ticket when I get back. <laughs> I'm gonna be really upset and I'll actually probably cry. But I'm walking to it now. I don't know where the hell I'm at. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. But it says Twitter headquarters. I've never been. Oh, I just gotta walk down a little bit more and I'm there. Yep. I have so much in my hand, I got my tripod in my hand, my phone in my other hand, camera in, where the tripod? It's too much, y'all. It's too much. But I'm doing it. Oh, 249. Okay, so I'm at 246. Oh, 249. This is Twitter's headquarters, guys. Look. You see, the, like, the... Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You see the little bird? It's lit. I never knew we had a headquarters in New York when it came to Twitter. This is fucking lit.
Dominic and I are checking in live with Elevated Daily for the 2018 HBCU Spring Coming Weekend Kickoff in New York City. Here at the Twitter headquarters where HBCU graduates are coming up with a solution to get 10,000 HBCU alumni, middle management role and innovation by April 2021. Stay tuned. Guys, I've never been in anything like this before. Can I see it? Oh, yeah, come here, see me. I've never been in anything like this. It's actually really cool. So basically, what they're doing is they're just brainstorming um, of things to do as far as what is it? Their mission is to improve community engagement as well as HBCU innovation. So basically what they're trying to do is at least to get 10,000 alumni one more minute, one more minute. to um, I'm like, read as I go on. But basically, what they're doing is they're trying to basically get 10,000 HBCU alumni to do like innovations as well as by the year of, in April of 2021. Basically, which is what Dom said in the last clip. Um, so I'm just like here a little bit. I'm about to leave because I have to get back to RJ. But we will be vlogging all day. So today's my radio show. So yeah, I gotta get to see the little behind the scenes of my radio show. And to see the fact that RJ comes to every, ever since I had my radio show, my son comes to me with to every show. He's actually a part of my little show. Yeah, just he doesn't talk. But if he's up today and he wants to talk, I'll let him talk to y'all. But yeah, so I'm about to just finish up real quick and then all right, all right, all right. in five more minutes. Everybody. So. I knew I was either going to get a ticket, so I can't really get mad. And I'm not going to get mad. Oh. Oh. And I'm not going to get mad because at the end of the day, I knew there was a possibility that I was going to get a ticket. And I'm not going to let that ruin my day because my day has been amazing so far. So I'm going to try to find something to eat before and route home. There won't be nothing. I might call my grandma and see if she's making food. And if not, I'll just grab something to eat. So I'll see you guys on the back of the now. Adios! Hello guys, I'm back in the car again. I 
My mom was watching RJ, so I went to my mom's house to go get him. Chilled a little. My grandma made me food because, you know, I'm grandma's baby. The camera's a little tilted so you can see my whole face the way I have it angled because I still have the thing from the tripod on it. And I don't feel like taking it off because it makes no sense to have to put it back. RJ's in the back seat. He's really about to go into his sleep mode because he's really tired. But I try to, you know, prolong his sleeping so he can um basically sleep throughout my show and then wake up basically at six and I feed him and then he'll go back to sleep for probably like a good 30 minutes which is only takes that's how long it only takes me to get home which is really really good but as you can hear him making a little bit of noise because he's strapped in he does not like his car seat but as soon as you move the car he's good He's from Parkhill. He sent me his music. And like I told Jess, sent me music and I will promote it on here. So I'm about to play it. Um, I'm on his SoundCloud. Uh, the first song is Run It Up Flex. Um, and I'm just going to play it because it's the first song I see. So if y'all like it, head over to Rich. I got his name on Facebook. Do not do me wrong. But y'all know he's from Parkhill. So Richard. All right. Hi, Mary Jane, Jashima. Hi, Tori. Hi, Tahita. Alright guys, so let's get into the show because the show is ridiculous. So, welcome back to Yes She Speaks. This is your girl, LaVeja Renee, coming back to you with another Ball Man show. Shout out to everyone who viewed into the week before show. You guys are amazing and I hope you guys are back with some more. Um, hi, Nishim. How are you? So, just a brief overview on why we didn't have a show last week was because I was supposed to be hosting Passive the Talent Talent Show. And someone who was a great hater called the cops over 20 times and made lies about how the show was gang related and a whole bunch of other things that was uncalled for and untrue. To be honest, shout out to Mercedes. Um, she was trying to get back to her community and someone wasn't trying to let her be great, which is which the devil never wins. And she actually is still going over her plans, guys. So be on the lookout. She's still going along with the talent show. Um, and she will give you guys an update on the talent show and its location when she hits when she gets like the final of everything. Oh, hi, RJ. Oh. Here you so today's topic is: Are you okay with the side piece, my guys? Are you okay with your guy? having a side piece now. I know a lot of you, you probably heard this topic before um, on 105.1 and 97.1. Uh, 97.1 this morning responded to, hi Kayla Al Allison, responded to Tori Hart's interview when she was okay with the side piece out of nowhere. Now that right there is just different, but I'm going to get to her in a little bit. And just even you said no, why would you not be okay with the side piece? Like, why would you not? Like, when you want somebody to pick up where you slack off? Because that was a lot of females' response. They was, they wanted a guy to pick up where they lack off. So it was like, that's crazy. So what I had to say about this, now this is brought to my attention by one of my very close friends, Dom. She called me up and was like, guess what? I just, guess what I just heard? And I was like, dang, this is the topic for my next show. Now females, have we gotten so lazy? Have we forgot our self-worth? Have we allowed our morals to go out the window just to save face? Like, come on. Some females actually find it okay that our partner can have another female to pick up our slack. Hi, Kenesha. Um, so as you can see, I was just at my radio show and my son. Little person down here. Can you see him? There you go. At the end towards the show, he started crying, but mommy dudes are, duties are never over. Me, personally, I wasn't mad because 
I have a crazy supportive system to some people who don't think so. My support system is ridiculous. I could call anybody right now and they will watch my son. They didn't push my son out. I pushed my son out. So I tend to want to take full responsibility of him, even though sometimes I have to let people help me. But I tend to want to always take the full responsibility of him because I feel like he's my responsibility. You know what I'm saying? And his father's at work. And, you know, I like, you know, always having him with me, knowing he's good, knowing he's safe. But he had a little episode where he was hungry and I had to end the show a little earlier than expected. Um, the show was a great success, but in the show you would just see just mommy duties. And I actually want to just show moms that regardless if you have a kid, you can still pursue your dreams. It might be just a little bit hard, harder. You might have to switch your responsibilities and you might have to care about a little a little best friend. You know, but at the end of the day, don't let that stop you. Like, even though he was crying a little cranky during the show, it actually motivated me more to want to finish the show because it just shows that, you know, I have a purpose for what I'm doing. It's not like I'm just doing this to do this for fun. I invest in myself. I pay, you know, for my show to be aired. I pay for my show. Like, every month, I literally pay for my show. It's not free. And I realize it's for him. And, you know, mommy duty's always cool, so I had to end a little bit, you know, early. But I'm going to end the vlog here only because by the time I get in the car, by the time I get home, I'm not going to want to vlog. And I'm telling the truth. I'm going to want to take this damn makeup off, lay down, eat, and relax with RJ. Um, so I'll just see you guys in the next vlog. Make sure you subscribe. Um, make sure you like, comment, and share. I love you guys. Bye.